Hey astrology lovers, it's your favorite astrologers, Julia and Luna, and we're here to tell you what the hell to expect from the cosmos for March. If you love astrology, then subscribe to our channel because we make astrology videos every month just for you. This March, all the planets, including both the traditional and modern ones, are moving fast and direct. That means Mercury, Venus, Mars, Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. And that's like everyone. When all the planets are fast and direct, it's like the opposite of retrograde season, which is when these cosmic influences are blocked up. It's best not to launch any new projects during retrograde season, because there's a good chance that you'll have to restart it or overcome some blockages. Well, when every planet is direct and fast as it is now, it means that the universe is flowing more harmoniously. That means that March is going to be an excellent month for starting new things like writing a book, opening a business, or even launching a website. The best dates in March for new projects are between the 1st and the 6th because Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn will be well dignified too. And I especially love the 5th because it's a really lucky day which I'm going to tell you about in just a second. We've got one of the luckiest days of 2022 happening on March 5th. Jupiter, the planet of fortune, is in the sign of Pisces now, which was traditionally one of its signs. Jupiter is therefore super strong in Pisces, and it's obviously really cool to have the planet of luck so strong. On the 5th, the great benefic and cosmic benefactor will be exactly conjoined the sun. When a planet is exactly conjoined the sun, like super close, like 17 minutes degree within it, then that planet gets really supercharged. This astrological phenomenon is called Kazemi, which literally translates to in the heart of. So that means that Jupiter is going to be in the heart of the sun. So I'm going to tell you where this extra little bit of luck is coming up in your chart in just a bit. Venus and Mars continue to travel together in conjunction all month. They did this last month in the sign of Capricorn, and now they're shifting together this month into the sign of Aquarius. These planets have the ultimate cosmic mojo together because they represent love and sex. It's kind of fun seeing these two come together at the beginning of spring when young people's fancy turns to love. If you're single, then this transit may bring more hotties into your Tinder feed, and if you're in a relationship, then you could fall in love with your partner all over again. In the independent sign of Aquarius, relationships, both new and old, are going to have a light, freedom-loving quality to them this spring. Hey there, Gemini! So that super lucky Sun-Jupiter combo is happening in your 10th house of career and authority figures. You could get a little boost of luck early in the month that really helps you on your job, or maybe helps you get a little bit closer to the next one. The 10th also rules all the people in your life who tell you what to do, like your boss, parents, teachers, and government officials. You may find that authority figures are more on your side this month, and it's easier to curry favor with them. This house also rules your public reputation, so you might might enjoy getting a little more respect and adoration from whoever you consider to be your audience in life. So a super sexy Venus-Mars conjunction is happening in your ninth house of travel, education, and adventure all month because these two planets are traveling super closely together. If you're in a relationship, then you two could go on a steamy adventure together, and if you're single, then you could go gaga over someone that comes from a really, really different background than you, maybe a different religion, different ethnicity, or even a foreigner. This would be a really fun time for a holiday romance if you're planning a trip too. The ninth also rules education, so you could also be in school and crush hard on someone in class. Hopefully not the teacher, unless you need to get your grades up. Thanks for watching! If you like horoscopes, subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out on any of the latest cosmic news. Ciao!